Let's do the standard New Line logo, but since it's vampires, let's make it red instead of blue. Get it? Trained medical professional slams a pregnant woman's head on the table. Hey, childbirth isn't remotely frightening enough as it is. Let's cut it like a horror film and have random background characters talk about her being bitten. You know, to help comfort the viewer. <laughs> Zip code 90031 is in Los Angeles, but the state is listed as Florida. Giant ass bloody baby doll makes me nostalgic for the Twilight Baby. Grand Theft Baby. By making the movie's title card the same font and size as its immediately preceding lead actor credits, it's possible some of the original viewing audience suspected Blade was just another actor in this film. And maybe he is? Sped up time-lapse opening credits footage is both a waste of time and a metaphor for humanity's rat race. What the f is that? Guy clearly sees a body in a bag and still follows her deeper into the slaughterhouse. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, Tracy Lord's honest film career in three seconds. I just had a seizure, thanks for that. This guy took dance lessons from Elaine Bennis. So, who hooked the sprinklers up to blood instead of water in this illegal temporary club? Where is the blood reservoir this shit is tapping into? Also, this would be like if a normal nightclub decided to spray beer all over everyone, which would be very sticky. And most of the nightclub occupants would rather just drink the beer normally. Besides being kind of gross, this seems incredibly wasteful. Is this guy the only mortal they brought to the vampire ball to eat? Most of the other vampires here are probably going to be super pissed that they didn't get to have any human blood, because there's no way he could feed all of them. This would be like if it was my turn to bring donuts on donut day and I only brought one donut. I'd probably have fired. Everyone in this joint coordinates the stoppage of the blood play upon Blade's arrival. Also, Blade was somehow able to 100% sneak into this spot at this moment with no one seeing it, which is goddamn impossible, but whatever. There were hundreds of them standing there, right? Is the movie really trying to tell me they couldn't all take him on and instantly succeed? But no, they take him on one by one. Stormtroopers, eat your heart out. We found a group with even shittier aim than you. Vampires. <laughs> this bull. I'm getting a little tired of chopping my up. Okay then, just blow him up like all the other vampires you just disintegrated. This is very much on you at this point, Blade. Blade is able to maintain a normal level of back flexibility even though his scabbard is built into his jacket and runs down his back. This is the windiest alley in the history of cinematic alleys, Jesus. What are the odds a character about to be drawn into this vampire story is a hematologist? Like, lottery winning odds, right? But this doesn't make any sense. You're right, the red blood cells on that monitor don't make any sense. That is definitely not what your microscope should see, unless you're watching a very boring episode of Magic School Bus. Honestly. You ever have second thoughts about us? Guy demonstrates, with the timing of this question, why any sensible girl would break up with him. With a reality as populated by vampires as this movie will suggest, it's a wonder this shit never happened before, honestly. Also, this supercharred burn victim now appears to be cosplaying as a burn victim, given his freedom of movement and the silliness of his appearance. Here's Blade to save the day, because of course, he's constantly monitoring the communications of 7th floor hospital employees. Freeze! Oh the f are you out of your damn mind? <laughs> and the guy wrapped in hefty bags was never heard from again. Despite leaving tons of victims behind at crime scenes prior to this, Blade decides to get invested in this one, which turns out to be a really good idea later, but whatever. Blade just had a flashback of his mother that he definitely couldn't remember because he was just born. <laughs> did Blade put those pillows there or did he just luck the fuck out? I think these cops might be even worse shots than the vampires earlier. Why even have guns in your movie? She's been bitten. Should have killed her then. Abraham would be excellent at cinema sins. Marvel paid money to play one and a half seconds of Bad Moon Rising. Deacon Frost. I'm going to have a prominent bruise if this movie keeps beating me over the head with character names like this. Are they sure they don't want to change Karen's name to Dr. Pretty Brave Smart Brain? I think my favorite thing about this vampire movie is the undead UN meeting, where they argue about which kind of vampire is more important. I was born a vampire, but you, Frost, you were merely turned. That's racist. Uh, it's vampire racist. Waking up in a room like this would probably make me scream the words please don't kill me, but she's merely confused and surprised. Ah, the principles of detection tell me someone was sitting here recently, listening to music and smoking the hookah. Not only do they still have Blade's mom's driver's license, but it is casually out on this table for Karen to find. Karen triggers the hand exploding mechanism in Blade's sword without hurting herself. Siri, I took a look at that notebook of hers. She's on to something. Blade just happens to bring home a rando who is not only a blood scientist, but one who's on to something. What are the odds? My name's Abraham Whistler. That is a terrible name. Like, the best of the Bible and old American paintings. Gas wasting is waste. And then he lights a cigarette. So where am I supposed to go? You've been exposed to them. One way or another, somebody's gonna take you out. All the more reason for you to answer her f***ing question. Here, vampire mace. <sighs> if there's one thing people fear about vampires, it's their raw computational power. These archives are restricted to the members of the House of Erebus. If I'm being honest, I only understood like 50% of what that guy just said. Danny Frost! I'm talking to you! You bore me. What? 
What is even going on right now? Blade drops off this vampire victim girl he helped save in the heart of Danger Town. Why did you even save her ass, eh? So Blade drops her off, she enters building, and immediately draws vampire assassin followers? How much does Blade suck at his job? Also, where the f*** is she supposed to be going? He drops her off, and she goes up the elevator at the first building she finds, and then starts walking fast? The f*** is going on? This chick has one lamp turned on, and at least four other lamps in this shot that are turned off. My point is, she's rivaling Bella from Twilight with all these lamps. Uh, police officer, I didn't mean to scare you. The front door was open. This guy followed the police protocol. If the front door is open, the officer is required to sneak up on the occupant of the home. Because you're dead too, bitch. Instead of just taking her by surprise and shooting her, this guy has to insult her before trying to kill her. This guy is holding a gun, but because he got vampire mazed, he forgets all about it. No one is even remotely suspicious of the guy in the leather trench coat beating the shit out of a cop in broad daylight. Time lapse to show passage of time cliche. This movie does a lot of that. <laughs> using the same stock tire screech sound twice within 10 seconds. So forget what you've seen in the movies. Does that include this movie? Well, I'd love to forget what I've seen in this movie. You know how to use one of these? Nope. But I damn sure learn quick. Movie decides that she doesn't know how to use a gun, but she immediately learns how, instead of just having her already know how to use a gun. You ain't for the head or the heart. Anything else is your ass. Even though Blade has killed countless vampires during the course of this movie by hitting them anywhere in their midsection. Not only was this computer able to translate the ancient text, but it was also able to generate this 3D model. Because this version of Rosetta Stone has a blueprint generator, just in case it decides a series of hieroglyphs is actually plans for a structure of some kind. Look, you're using the girl as bait. And you are stupid enough to say Shut up. I appreciate the help, random vampire chick, but I've got this. And you were stupid enough to take it? Vampire the Hut. Farts equal humor, right? Not sure if movie is just throwing in jumpy cuts of Blade's next adversary or if I'm having a stroke. Instead of luring Blade out of the vampire Bible room, they decide to bring the fight there so they can destroy these priceless artifacts. Catch you fuckers at a bad time? Whistler ex machina. Abraham survives this, though at this point we shouldn't be surprised. Blade's mother was attacked by a vampire while she was pregnant. And the vampire somehow didn't just kill and eat the fetus. Instead, a super vamp was born. He'd undergone certain genetic changes. Oh. I thought the serum was supposed to suppress that. His body started to reject it. Exposition, exposition, exposition? Yes, exposition, f***ing exposition, exposition! Cigarettes and whiskey, the prop master's best friend for letting the audience know a character doesn't give a shit. Wife, two daughters. This guy rattles off his dead relatives like they're the names of books he read in school. There's something happening in the vampire ranks. There's something big. Well, it tells me a lot. How big is it? Whistler told me what happened. Snitches get stitches, though. He told me what you are. You don't know anything about me. Except for all that stuff that Abraham just told her. Basically, your entire backstory. You were a sloppy, you got what you deserved. Discount, I inspired like 50% of Lady Gaga's look. Neither Frost nor any of his vampire friends are affected by the sun rising quite like the guy they brought out here to kill. Yeah, yeah, sunscreen schmunscreen. Also, this guy is already burning, even though the sun hasn't risen yet. Why the hell is no one else burning up right now? I see that they have on their motorcycle getup, but their faces are still exposed to the sun until they put down these visors. And don't tell me it's because they put on this sunscreen, because I call bullshit on that being effective. And Dragonetti was definitely burning through his clothes earlier, so they should all be reenacting the Ark of the Covenant right now. It's something about the Blood God, the spirits of the Twelve. This is the most Buffy the Vampire Slayerist of any modern vampire. Sudden magic blood text? I can read that shit. Give it here. I took a trip to the hospital last night. Borrowed some equipment. Casual stealing. Also, Karen stole an entire lab from the hospital, presumably by herself. Take a step back. The reaction's energetic. Why not just say, don't put your eyes on that because it's about to explode, y'all? The vampire who bit this girl has the widest apart f***ing vampire incisors in the history of teeth. That's almost like two inches. Sunblock. Movie continues to expect me to believe that Frost is completely impervious to the sun's UV rays because he's wearing sunblock. How long are these assholes standing here like this without someone calling 911 about the creeper and the abducted Asian girl? Jesus, even Blade is a goddamn stormtrooper with the gun in his hands. Blade rescues girl who should not have been in danger anyway since this truck should have f***ing slammed on the brakes ages ago. Nice place. Took us a while to fight. How did you find it though? Sergio Garcia. Frost took her. Fine, but why did he leave you even a little bit alive? There's some kind of... Vampire God, he's trying to resurrect. Man, it's bad enough you aren't dead, but you're also an exposition fairy. Jesus, just die already. Blade pulls the gauze off the wounds for a moment, but it has very little blood on it. Almost as though these aren't gushing wounds, but actually nearly dry makeup jobs. Why is Blade basically petting Whistler's wounds with dirty gauze? Blade just knocked off all six special bullets he smelted himself. Now he's gonna have to pick them up one by one. In case you were clueless about the metaphor, Blade will now literally chop a plant off at the root. You seem a bit... tense. She actually looks calm as f but whatever. If you were once human. I like how the director kept cutting to this blonde chick on the couch during this scene, since I have no idea who she is or why her reaction should matter. The blood god's come as a hurricane. An act of God. He 
he's referring to the blood god as an active god, even though the blood god's name calls him a god himself, which would seem to negate THE god's involvement in these proceedings. Movie saves a few bucks by lifting the stupidness from the computer renders in the movie disclosure. Blade is stupid enough to let his guard down after the dead mother's trick, so as to be easily tased here. F***ing dead mothers, man. Also, tasers work on the undead. Who knew? I need my serum. Probably true, but I'm still more concerned with why they put you two together in captivity and allowed you to keep your body armor. <laughs> Karen. Try to understand, Eric. I forgot this is Blade's mother for a second. There's some weird Freudian going on right now. In Hollywood, they call this the Lost Boys effect, and here it's combined with the Bruce Almighty moon. Blade. This chick saves Blade through pure guesswork. You have to bite me and turn me in order to save the world cliche ripped off from every vampire movie ever. I'm not entirely sure he is still just sucking her blood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, special effects. Blade movie thinks it can reap goodwill for the finale by playing some of that Matrix action music that doesn't exist yet. Hey Karen, maybe if you aim for one of the columns you might hit the girl? Earlier Whistler said the garlic would cause anaphylactic shock. I had no idea anaphylactic shock makes your head explode. So basically this is the vampire version of Bloodsport, right? Didn't you just bite and turn her? She's not a f***ing daywalker, right? Or does anyone you bite turn into- you know what? F*** it. I officially don't care. F*** you and the undead horse you rode in on movie. Why the f*** is he in Moscow right now hunting vampires? Did he run out of vampires in the US to hunt? I guess we won't know until Blade 2. Blood on the Blackboard, the Bart Simpson story. Starring Richard Chamberlain as Principal Skinner, Joe Mantegna as Fat Tony, Jane Seymour as the woman he loved, and TV's Doogie Hauser, Neil Patrick Harris as Bart Simpson. Who are you people? What do you mean, you people? You were a sloppy, you got what you deserve. I'm getting what I deserve, I'm reaping what I sow. <gasps> Don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me! Saruma. While the number field sieve is the best method currently known, there exists an intriguing possibility for a far more elegant approach. You're the chosen one. You are the chosen one! <laughs>